Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan Bryce. I'm so happy you guys clicked on today's video. So today my power is out because our electric company is doing some type of work. I have no idea, but since my power is out, I have nothing else to do today. So I figured I should do something useful and I'm gonna go through my closet. I do this like every couple of months, honestly, but I feel like today, I do say this every time you guys, but I feel like today I'm going to be very brutal with it. I am going to get rid of literally anything I don't grab for. Now, keep in mind, <laughs> I say that every single time I do a closet clean out, but this time I've got to do it because my closet is so overflowing. If you guys watch my channel or if you know me in real life, you know, I like cycle through like six different outfits and that's all I ever wear. So why do I have an overflowing closet that I can't fit things into? You know what I mean? And this is just my upstairs closet. I have an entire closet downstairs in our spare bedroom that I've taken over with all of my clothes as well. So it's gotten to the point, I gotta admit I have an issue <laughs> and I need to go through all of my clothes and get rid of the things I'm not using. I'm gonna split stuff into different piles. So one pile is gonna be for donations and then the other pile is gonna be for selling on Poshmark. I will link my Poshmark below. I still have quite a few things on there from the last closet clean out I did, but I will be adding all the stuff I go through today to the Poshmark as well. Ugh, I hate doing this. All right, first, I feel like I have to be real and show you the damage. That is my closet. So as you can see, <laughs> there is literally no room for anything else in here. Like things are packed and I like physically like have to use my body weight to pull the hangers over to fit anything else in. So let's just get started. I think I'm going to start on this side because this is the side I really, honestly, I probably don't ever even have to open that side of the closet because I never go for things over there. I am a matching set girly. Oh my gosh, our power just turned back on. Cool. Well, I'm not going to get my hopes up and think it's going to stay on for good. But for right now, I'm very happy about it. As I was saying, I'm not wearing a matching set today because I just put on some fake tanner. So I'm wearing my little black pants so that my tanner didn't like stain any of my clothes because I usually wear all white neutral beiges. So <laughs> all of those would not be good for after tanning. So that's why I'm wearing this outfit today. Let's get into it for real now. Um, like I said, I'm starting on this side because this is like basically the clothes I wear every day. So there's less on this side that I'm gonna be getting rid of, but still wanna go through it just in case. So this is like a set I ordered online and I am one of those people, I swear I don't usually fall for the Instagram ads, but this time I did and I shouldn't have because I ordered this from an Instagram ad saying it was the exact same as these waffle airy sets. Um, you have eyes, these are not the same at all. Also, I ordered this in what? I ordered this in a medium because I got these in a large and they're so oversized that I was like, oh, I can go for a medium. Um, and this is teeny, teeny, tiny. I feel like it's not even a medium. It's probably more like a small. So it's tight on me, not the same fabric, not the same fit. So I don't like it because I love an oversized look as you can tell. So this is definitely gonna be going on my Poshmark. This like actually physically pains me, but here's the thing. I never wear this. It's my Skims fuzzy set. I have the little tank top, the wide leg pants and the robe. I love it, but I never ever ever wear it because I run very warm and this is like wearing an actual inferno. So, feel like I should list this so someone who actually will use it well will get use out of it. I may keep the robe for now just because I'm a robe girly, always have been. So maybe if I just like have my robe out on our robe hooks, I'll wear it more often. But I definitely think I'm gonna put this little set on Poshmark. This is a set that like, I like, <laughs> but I again, run so warm. It's like this adorable little bear print fuzzy set it's a crew neck and jogger pants with it it is so cozy and comfy i may list it on poshmark just to see 
but if no one buys it I think I won't be too sad about it because like I have worn this a couple times when it's absolutely freezing out but I feel like for everyday use I really don't need it you guys I'm doing good at this this time I'm like actually getting rid of stuff here's another set that I absolutely love but never use it is this little beige and brown striped set it's a crew neck and then a pair of shorts that are matching that go with it this is adorable it's not super oversized on me because it's size small so definitely gonna list this on Poshmark okay this one does pain me to do <laughs> um so this is a little white fox set that I purchased I purchased it not realizing there's a difference between their sets and their oversized sets. Again, this is like a thing where if it's not oversized, I just simply will not grab for it. So as much as I love this set because it's like this adorable cream hoodie with gray bubble writing, and then it comes with like a really nice pair of joggers, I just don't use it that much. So listen this. Do I even need to say it again? <laughs> this is a super cute, like kind of more summery white gauzy set with this button up long sleeve and then a pair of shorts. It's actually from Luca and Gray. That used to be like Aspen Ovard's clothing company. They don't have it like around anymore. And I bought this like at their closing sale, so I couldn't return it. And this is cute. It's just, you know what I'm gonna say? It's not oversized on me. So selling this because I think Luca and Gray runs relatively small and they only go up to large. So that's why I bought this. Literally, it still has the tags on it. I've never worn it. I don't know when I will wear it. So add that to the pile. Ooh, this is a super cute little, like, I don't know if it's technically pajamas. It probably is. It's kind of like a silky material and it has these two really cute tie ups here and then a pair of like matching little shorts. I believe I got this from Fashion Nova and I wore it on my bachelorette trip and I absolutely loved it, but I just don't see myself wearing it again. So adding this on over to the pile. Okay, here's my first colored thing I'm coming out with. How crazy. Um, so I went through a phase where I was very, very obsessed with the Lululemon scuba hoodies. So I bought three of them and I never reach for them anymore. So gonna see if this can find a better home. Even though I just said I don't ever reach for my scuba hoodies because this one is white beige-ish, I'm gonna keep it just because it fits my current color scheme and maybe I will end up reaching for this again. This is another piece where everything about it like is exactly my style, but I just don't think I've worn this more than two times since I bought it like a couple years ago. And it's just this really nice little quarter, not zip, like button pullover. And I love it, but just don't reach for it. So add that. This little button up oversized thing, I got it from Amazon and I think it was supposed to be like kind of like a free people dupe. And I used to wear it all the time and I never do now. But I think it's because I just forgot I had it because I have so much crap in my closet. So I'm excited that I like rediscovered this. Maybe I'll reach for it more now that it's like more like close at hand. All right, this sweatshirt is freaking adorable and I love it. I got it for Christmas this year. So I literally have not had it that long. Um, it's not oversized on me. So adding this to the pile and it's this like super nice little like fuzzy material. It's awesome. This is a Halloween Town crew neck. I don't know why it's still in my closet. It should be in my Halloween bin. So kind of throw this down to the basement. Here's another sweater. I got this for Christmas this year, I believe, or maybe I just got it from my grandma, like just because, but I literally forgot she gave it to me and it's so cute. So now I will see it more. Here's another of the Lululemon scuba hoodies. This one is in that like really pretty bubblegum pink color. So hopefully someone will love this. This is a little sweatshirt I got as one of my like Fabletics credit things when I still had Fabletics. I don't know why I ordered it because it's bright pink, but it does have like kind of a little grease stain on it. So I can't really sell it. I'm gonna donate it though because maybe someone will still like it and try to get the stain out themselves. So don't want to like throw it away. This sweater I used to wear all the time i think i bought it for my mom when i was in college and she ended up like not liking it that much because it was oversized on her so she gave it back to me and i used to wear this literally like two times a week and it is orange but i feel like it's close enough to a neutral that maybe i'll reach for this again now that it's like more front and center in my closet so i'm gonna hold on to it for now whoa okay we already went through that whole side of the closet moving on to this side Let's see what we can find. This is another set from Fashion Nova that I think is super cute. It's like this little brown, I don't even know what you would call this like fabric. It's like crinkly and stretchy. And I have this little tie top 
and then I have the little skirt that goes with it. I've never worn the skirt before, so it still has the tag on it. I have worn the shirt before because I've worn it with the matching pants I have. I do wear these pants all the time, but I feel like I don't reach for this enough to make it worth it, so I'm gonna try to sell this set. This is a super cute, like, little cropped waffle knit shirt. Um, but it has like a little bit of pink stain in here, so I just don't reach for it anymore. So adding this to the donation pile. This is an old navy shirt I used to wear constantly, but I never ever wear it anymore just because it's so like obnoxiously bright in my opinion. So gonna sell this, but it's like 3X, yeah. So it's nice and oversized on me, which is why I loved it at the time, but just don't reach for it anymore. Alrighty, here's another little old navy shirt I used to wear a lot, um, and it's cute but it gives me like pregnant vibes when I wear it. Like it gives me maternity clothing vibes, which is awesome if you're pregnant. But since I'm not, <laughs> don't love wearing this that much. I think it's just cause it's like a baby doll style and the way the shirt is cut, it just gives very maternity vibes. So I think I'm just gonna donate this one just cause like Old Navy doesn't usually sell that well on Poshmark. Now that I say that, I'm also gonna add this Old Navy to the donation pile. She is getting so upset with the guys that are working in the backyard on the electricity. that She's like been barking all day. <laughs> this shirt I got from American Eagle. It's so freaking cute. It's just like a white linen shirt. It has a little lace cut out in the back and little lace trimming on the bottom. And I'm so glad I'm going through my closet because I totally forgot I had this shirt and it matches these little shorts. Like it's a little matching set. How fun is that? So I'm gonna put the shorts with this shirt and put it in my little matching set section of my closet. So then hopefully I remember it and I go for it, especially since I'm going on a couple of vacations this winter to like warm tropical places. So this will be a perfect little thing to bring with me. This is kind of just like a casual slouchy old navy white t-shirt but it's a little see-through and i don't really reach for it so we're doing that this little espresso top i used to wear all the time when i worked in an office because it's pretty like formal but i just never reach for it anymore so we're gonna donate that this is another little espresso piece it's kind of cute it's like a little reversible silky tank top thing so i'm gonna add this to the donation pile as well this is just a little black cropped t-shirt from Old Navy that has a little front pocket, adding that to the donations. This is kind of like a little crinkle material top from h and I'm gonna add this to the Poshmark pile. And then this is a Lululemon little workout tank top thing. I just never really work out in tank tops. I usually wear t-shirts, so adding that to the Poshmark pile. This is so cute, but I do not wear crop tops. <laughs> so adding this to sell as well, it's just like a little teeny, pink Wakiki Beach Honolulu tank top. I absolutely loved this when I wore it. It's like this little crochet top that has a little drop back in the back. Um, I loved it when I wore color, but it's just like a little bit too colorful for me now. So gonna sell that. These are all more workout tank tops that are just like random ones from TJ Maxx. So I'm gonna add all of these to the donation pile. This is like a cutie little baby doll top from American Eagle. Adding that to the Poshmark pile just cause it's black and I don't usually reach for it. This is another shirt I got from Fabletics when I had my little membership. It's just like a little workout tank top and it has like a little open back, which I think is super cute. But again, I don't wear tank tops when I'm working out. So adding that to Poshmark. This is like a cozy little one piece pajama thing from Old Navy. I love it but I just don't actually wear this to bed ever. So just gonna donate that. This is like a free people movement piece. It's like one of those like kind of weird drop crotch one pieces that has the little zip in the back. I loved this when I got it, but I just have to be realistic with myself and it is not flattering on my body type at all. It like genuinely makes it look like I'm wearing a diaper. So <laughs> gonna add this to Poshmark. I know a lot of people love these and they look so cute on other people, but for some reason it looks horrible on me. I did just go through the rest of my closet pretty recently, like all of my shorts and stuff. So I think I'm just gonna call it there. I have more than enough work set out for myself for listing all this stuff on Poshmark. So let's get that process started. I think I decided for the photos, I wanna try to put like a little command hook up here and then try to take the pictures against this like neutral e background because usually i take them on the bed but i feel like it ju they just lay weird if they're laying flat so i'm gonna see if this works i feel like that's perfect that'll be so much easier 
This is gonna take me a while, so let's montage this. Oh, also first though, this is my pile of all the clothes I'm listing. It's a lot. all the photos and now I'm just gonna hang all the photos that I'm gonna try to sell back into my closet just so they stay nice and neat so that means that not as much of my closet is clear as I thought it would be but you know it's okay now I need to start listing them all on Poshmark that is probably gonna take me a few hours to do just because I have to like look up how much the original prices were and then write descriptions for all of them so I'm gonna work on that and then I'll check in when I'm done with everything. So I just finished listing all those on Poshmark and in the time it took me to post them, I already sold both of the Lululemon scuba hoodies and this white fox set. So that is sweet. I'm gonna wrap those all up and get them dropped off at the post office just so they can get out to the girl who bought them. I feel so good after getting that little project done. It was something I've been wanting to do for a couple of weeks and I just finally decided I had to do it today. Anyways, you guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys, Illy.